Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. It is West Brom Fan TV, as you know. We've got Dave, who's back after a period of time. Hello. Um, we are reviewing the Preston away vlog. Now, this is this is a game I'm very excited about. I, I love the Preston away game. We've got a huge allocation, huge amount of Baggies fans. Dave, are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I am looking forward to it. I mean, it's the third time I've been at Preston now. Um, we've won both times I've been there, so hopefully third time lucky. So, and well, another second, win. So The second time for me, the first time I went was the infamous Kyle Edwards dive in Charlie Austin penalty, which I yeah. think we can all well, agree. Now that's passed, it was definitely a dive. <laughs> Yeah, um, that one that was the one where I got assaulted right afterwards, wasn't it? Yeah, um, that, yeah. yeah that definitely wasn't a penalty. No. no so it, hopefully nothing like that happens this time. Um I've got some I've got some guests as well, so I'm very excited about that. Some first time away days, so they don't know what they're in for, but <laughs> we can go with that. Um so let's talk about let's talk about first of all a bit about West Brom and the past few games. And I'll probably be doing the vast majority of this. You haven't been able to make the last two, Dave. But... No, no, I haven't. Uh, oh, we won't go on about it enough. Well, long enough. But I've had COVID, so unfortunately, I missed yeah. the last two games. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think you'll have to do some explaining on this one on the so, what happened. <laughs> there's been really, really torn reactions, but the sort of the vast majority, the one thing that everyone agree with is we are severely lacking a goal scorer. That was evident against the Derby game because you yeah, only have to look what, at them. What I've heard. You only have to look at the match stats. I mean. With with a proven goal scorer, we could have put six past Derby, and Derby didn't really look. Derby didn't really have a shot the entire. They didn't, I say a shot. They didn't attack. I think um, it was so what it was so one sided. It was unbelievable, but we just didn't have that cutting edge. The first no. half of both games was very poor, and then the second half we played better each half. So mm. I think it's somewhat. Problem is, it's going to be something we're going to have to get used to, especially at the Hawthorns. Probably get more leniency away from home, but at the Hawthorns, we're going to have to come used to teams parking the bus, and it's going to be very frustrating. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I did hear a little bit about it. Um, I, you know, we need a bit of a goal scorer. That's been our bugbear in the championship in the past couple of times we've been in the championship. Um, you know, it's just, it's, you can't really call it a blip as such because we're still in the top yeah. two. But, um, you know, it will start to get a little bit worrying if we don't find a consistent goal scorer soon. Um, I think we'll find it. I think it'll be Robbo or um, Diangana. I heard he, he had a really good game against Derby. He was the best he's um, played in a long time. Yeah, but I think we'll be fine. Um, I love just love how Albion fans you know, hit the panic button as soon as we don't, you know, we start consistently drawing or we don't oh, win for a while or something. I mean, yeah, so, you know, we just need to keep the faith and hopefully, yeah, we'll put it right, hopefully, this weekend. The thing is, the championship's so unpredictable. I mean, you only got to look at Fulham have only lost one game this season and being at the Blackpool. And that was against so, Blackpool. You know, so, that's not the team you expected to lose against. It, it is the most unpredictable league in the world and the most exciting league in the world. So, um, yeah. I think people it's, need to remember. It's the role well. I think people need to remember as well. We're not going to win every game. It's impossible. No. But, and we're not going to have perfect ludicrous. games. But what we need to do is try and consistent, try and not hit a really bad run of form. So, the, winning against Preston, this will all, the last two games will be forgotten about. So... Mm. I think <coughs> it's a strange one, but I'm looking forward to it. I think seeing how we'll do away from home, it'll be a big tell now because we were a few games into the season, had a good start in my opinion, a couple of poorish games, but nothing majorly to concern about in my opinion. But an away game against a tough side, they've had a bit of a mixed Ooh. start, haven't they? Yeah, they've had a bit of a, a mixed start, as you say. Um, their last result was a 2-2 two, two draw with Sheffield United. Um, it was right the, at the dead, minute. didn't they? Sorry? It's called right at the dead, didn't they? They did, yeah. Um, was it Jacobson or Ray? Yeah. I can't yeah, remember. Him, yeah. Like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, he scored the last minute um, equaliser for them. And again, yeah, they've had a bit of a mixed bag. Um, you know, they've got a bit of a, a, a new manager. So to speak, yeah. with Frankie McAvoy, who was Alex Neal's assistant. Um, 
and they've got some good players, Preston. You know, Daniel indeed. Johnson, um, Tom Barkhausen, uh, Sean Maguire, uh, Seth Vandenberg. You know, they're, they're a, a youngish squad. Um, you took them some time, uh, didn't it? Because the first sort of two games, I mean, the first game of the season, Hull tore them apart. Yeah, and they then, did. And then they lost to Reading. I think they did, They lost all three of their first games and then they actually won two in a row after that. And then they've drawn the last mm. two. So they've actually had a really sort of inconsistent start. But Yeah, I mean, Preston, you would look at the team on paper. You wouldn't ex- ex- exactly um, put them down for pro- promotion, really. Yeah, um, so, you know, I, th- I think they'll be mid-table personally. Um but, um, you, that, you know, the last couple of times we've played and they've been a bit of a threat. I mean, they were hard to break down the last time when we won 1-0 and they didn't give up. Obviously, there was that 3-2, yeah. which was about three odd years ago now. Um, game, you know, they're, they're a hard side to um, to break down. So not, um, it's going to be difficult. It's not an easy place to go. I mean, I remember in particular, I think Sam Johnson pulled off of some amazing saves when we won that 1-0 game. And I think, well, one thing that I remember in particular is like, like the talk of us needing a goal, proven goal scorer. I mean, when we played Preston in that 3 2 game, I mean, we mm. had Gail and Rodriguez, Rodriguez, and it will, it will be very, we will be very, very, very lucky if we ever have a strike force as clinical as that in the championship again. I mean, oh, yeah. it was, yeah, we, the, we, were spoiled, we were spoiled with, with, with Gail absolutely. and Rodriguez. Yeah. But, One of uh, those would have been amazing, but the fact we have both in the championship, I can't. Um, yeah, and we still didn't go up. I know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, it's a different scenario this time. Obviously, um, there's a few things. Obviously, we need to put right. We need to get a good goal scorer, um, and I think as well with O'Shea out yeah we kind of need to sort of um solidify our defense a little bit which is it's going to be difficult but um we kind of need to find out whether you know kipre is the answer right at center back or whether um we give keen brian a go yeah now I, mean, I don't know but um you know his name has been muttered a few times I'm, um when is the when will be the right time to to get him in I know nothing about Keane Brown. I know he's I know he's a left footed sort of athletic. I mean, we've we went to the Bournemouth game and Kip Ray played together. We we went to that game and Kip Ray got mm. some criticism and we both said we both thought it was a little bit unfair the mm. criticism Kip Ray got. So it'll be interesting to see what he does. But mm. one thing we one thing we do know is that Matt Clark and O'Shea gone is a big miss. Because when all yeah. three of them played against but um, Sheffield United, they, Sheffield United couldn't break the back line. They couldn't get through. And um, it was the first thought of 30, 40 minutes against Blackburn before Clark picked up the injury. They, they didn't really have a chance. And we they've yeah. been very, very, very clean, that sort of back three. But it, O'Shea's gone until probably the new year. And Clark's probably um, got two more weeks. I'm not sure on O'Shea, if I'm being honest. Uh, I did. I, I was watching the game, the Ireland Portugal game, when he got injured, and it looked bad. I mean, it, I, it was. You saw him get up, and then he went straight back down again. You knew it was bad. Um, I'd say New Year, but I don't know. I've got a terrible feeling that it'll be about February, March until we get O'Shea back. Um, I mean, Clark. Hopefully, we'll get back a lot sooner. Yeah. Um. And we do. We do need one of them back. We well, obviously, it'll be Clark who comes back quicker. Um. We do need him back because you know our our squad is paper thin, and we can't yeah. afford too many more injuries. Um. So yeah, we do need another, him back. Another issue is Semi Ajay is because of this. Apart from the game against Derby where Reach played, Semi Ajay has actually been playing on the left side of the centre back of a back three. But he's right footed and mm. that hasn't worked very well at all. So bring Clark back in. O'Shea goes O'Shea goes on to his strongest side. Could be a bit of improvement there. But it's tough to yeah. tell. It's no, it's a... it's uh, we're only we're only what seven, eight games in yeah. so far. So you know, we 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 
it's it's still a sort of transitional period really i mean we've started very very well don't get me wrong we're we're in seventh uh, seventh second place we're unbeaten the start um, we've had to a championship season as well actually yeah so you know we, we're doing really really well and we're kind of you know us and fulham and bournemouth we're kind of the pace setters in the championship um you know it's not time i mean it's been two draws but it, there's no need to hit the panic button just no, yet not at all. um you know, it's just it's just one of those things. You know, we're, we're going to have ups, we're going to have downs. It is a rock going to be a roller coaster. They do season. sometimes. You do sometimes say as well. It sometimes takes a couple of bad games to to improve you as well. Because yeah. the thing is, we we well apart from the selection of Albion fans, at least you, you've got to remember that you can't have a perfect team overnight. It's got to be bumps and stuff. So no, you take. No, you've got to think. You got to think this is a team that's come down from the Premiership. There's been a lot of, you know, out, outgoings and incomings kind of thing. New manager, new backroom staff, new everything, pretty much yeah. new league. So you know, it, it, it's going to take time. Um, you know, again, we started off really, really well, um, but there's always going to be a few bumps in the road and a few um, hitches along the way. Um, so you know, it's that's just the way of life in the Championship, but. I think again on paper, I think we have a team that is very, very capable of staying up there. So, oh, yeah. you know, and I think, and I think we're going to put things right this weekend. Please God. So, so. I, I agree. I think, I think this is probably the best sort of game we could have asked for. I think we need an away game because I do think mm-hmm. we actually do play better away. But at the same time, we didn't want a team we could underestimate. Preston are a decent side. There's no escaping that. But they are, they are beatable. So I think this is the away game that could probably bring the best of us. And I'm looking forward to it. Now, before we go, we can't go without mentioning the phenomenal um, backing that the Atlanta are going to be having. Nearly 4,000 Aggies fans. Mm-hmm. We're nearly touching our league attendance record on away games. Yeah, I, I do. This is why I like Preston away, because it's a huge away stand. We t- we take We've taken 3,000, 3,000. 500, 4,000, I think, if memory serves. Um, you know, and it, uh, again, I'm very, very lucky. I will mention really quickly, my isolation for COVID ends tomorrow. We're filming this on Thursday night. It's Friday. My first day of freedom will be Saturday. So yeah. I'll be coming. So, <laughs> um, um, yeah, I'll be, I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully uh, bring three points home. I can't wait. Got my tickets ready <laughs> for, me, for me and my guests. Um it's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting one. I mean, <coughs> anything you need to add before we enter the score predictions? Any thoughts? I just hope that the Albion fans bring their voices and uh, back the boys the whole ninety minutes. So um, you know, we'll hopefully they, by uh, five o'clock we'll be bringing those three points home. So no ninety. Just need it. We need your support. No ninety fifth minute drama off. <laughs> No, please not this time. Let's, nearly, let's, have a, nearly, let's, have, let's have a nice easy one, eh? I nearly broke my back <laughs> in that game. So <laughs> nearly so did I. <laughs> um, so score predictions. So Dave, I'm actually gonna let you go first this time. Thank you. Um I'm gonna say um two nil Albion. Um get a nice easy win. Uh and I will say Robinson and Diangana to score. I nearly, actually, nearly had exactly the same score prediction. I went 3-1. I went Robinson to score twice. Dean Garner to score once. And I'm going to go with DJ to score for them. Um, right. Daniel Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, right. Should be, should be good. I'm really looking forward to it. So, again, if you see us, come say hello. We are, we're friendly. And I cannot wait to see you all at Preston away. This is... Another, this is third time, second time for me, third time for Dave. So it's a great, it's a great away game. It's a lovely area as well. Um, go, so we're gonna be, I'm gonna be in the local pubs before the game. So come say hello and have a good one. Thank you, Dave, again. Thank you. Helping us out and everyone have a good one. See you soon. Bye bye.